Guys, I want this. I want to roll. I really want to roll. <laughs> That's a given. I always want to freaking roll. Like, I want this. I do want this, but uh, then I don't want this, but I, uh, but I do want this, but... Uh, uh. Hi! Welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. We've got the half anniversary coming up, the New Year's event coming up, as well as my feelings about Beth and Novior. That's, that sounds kind of weird. It <laughs> sounds like I'm going to confess to the two of them. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Anyway, I digress. So I'm going to first talk about the half anniversary first because there is some pretty hype things coming very, very soon. And so let's get started with this one over here. And so the first event we have is a straight up giveaway we are celebrating the new years with another 10 time draw and so this is actually different to the one that we got before so if you do remember when we got the bethlehem patch we did get a 3000 loom amber in the mail so that is honestly pretty freaking sick for the new years we're just getting a straight up tenor and then we're also getting a whole bunch of different packs as well as that and so honestly i don't really need to talk about their generosity they're really just showing it through actions and so with that being said let's move on to the next one so after that just a couple more freebies except these are like the night teams just some resources for us to level up our Aurorians. And so I'm just going to speed run through this one. We've got the Nikki costume coming up and this bad boy is going to be at the cost of 1588. So if you guys have not seen the Nikki costume, it's actually really, really freaking nice. I mean, every single costume that Tour Dog have released so far has been so, so dank. And so this is the Nikki costume. I still don't have Nikki and honestly, that's kind of what I want to talk about very, very soon. But I digress. Have a look at this and just like, mm, chefs kiss let me know if you guys are going to pick this up like to be honest i'm still technically on the fence about all of these costumes especially just like for me like personally it's not changing enough for me to warrant them i've actually picked up like the summer outfits and stuff and like i'm happy with them i'm also very happy with the battle pass ones but to be honest that's probably like the last like tiny tiny as criticism that i can give to tour dog the skins are just they just don't really feel worth it worth it to me that is like there's no like new particle effects or anything it's it's kind of whatever but as always if you guys do like it then you guys go ahead and cop it but that is the nikki skin and like honestly at least the splash is really nice anyway moving on so we've got this guy over here which is the lumo crystal purchase for the gronru's naughty or nice outfit so this is quite nice because i know some people have been stacking up the monthlies like me too actually me too stacking those monthlies so that we can get enough of the lumo crystals to be able to get one of these outfits maybe like once every three months or so and so if you guys have been holding out for that one that will be good now this is kind of contributing to my decision to not cop these um these swimsuits no sorry these outfits it's the fact that they actually return that kind of makes me happy because if i miss out this time so i accidentally missed out the midgard one i also did miss out on the sharona one and i'm still on the fence about the gronru one but what they have shown is that these limited edition outfits they will come back so that is really really nice and so if you guys have not seen the carleen icy or vice outfits i definitely well, you know what? Let me show you real quick. So here we've got the icy outfit over here. This is probably like still my favorite skin in the game. It's just so freaking gorgeous. And then if I back out of that one, let's have a look for the Carleen skin, which is this one over here. Oh man, the swimsuit skins, honestly, they're so freaking nice. Like it's not just big booba everywhere. It's actually really classy and it's very refined. And then the last one is this vice skin over here. This summer vice, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I quite like vice. I'm a big fan of this heroine and the extra cool thing was that this vice was actually in the battle pass it was a battle pass skin and so considering that this re-release is going to include that vice skin that is honestly really freaking awesome it means that like technically speaking we won't miss out on those skins if you didn't get the bp like back whenever you still have a chance one day however of course like the battle pass is always going to be like the best in terms of value and so yeah that's that one over there and with that being said let's move on so this bad boy is the one that I do want to talk about. I still remember when I was really into Dragalia Lost, like we got packs like this uh, in Ark Knights as well. I got these packs as well. And so look at this, a six star Aurorian selection box and a 10 pull of the special star flares, the blue ones. All of that for 30 USD, like, 30 USD, if you compare it to other things, it is significant. However, if you are fortunate enough to be able to consider this, this bad boy is, is freaking lit. I do have to warn you guys that the selection is slightly limited, but as we go on into the game, we are going to get more of these selection boxes and then like hopefully we'll get the range expanded. To be honest, the first thing that I looked for when I saw this box was Paloma. I was like, where's, where's the Paloma boy? Alas, there was no Paloma, but that's okay because there were a couple of others that I 
one that I still cannot decide. So honestly, this is where my first question to you is going to be. Out of all of these characters, so essentially it is from launch all the way up until the hero event. The main characters that I don't have that are kind of like meta would be Nikki and Hero. Nikki, of course, is going to be featured in virtually every single green team. However, I do have Hedy as well as Sikare and uh, Pact as well. On the other hand, we've got Hero who is a fantastic detonator. And honestly, I still remember failing on both of their banners. It, <laughs> it's honestly a really sour memory. I lost the 50-50 on both of them. But in terms of like green DPSs, I've got the Araya, I've got the Beryl, I've got Midgard, Mythos is on the way. And on top of that, like our triple R's are coming full circle. So if you guys didn't see, uh, the triple R's are actually rotating into some of our launch characters. So we've got the Carleen, and then I predict the next one is probably going to be Uriel. And so the next logical banners for these ones over here are probably going to be like the Hero or the Eve, the Sinsa. And so that really puts me in a pickle, right? Like, do I wait out for the Hero and the Nikki banner? Or should I just pick up one of them right now, Nikki or Hero? And if so, which one do I pick? I've honestly gotten by okay with my Forest team without the Nikki at this point, but the same can be said about Hero. And honestly, this choice is like it's actually quite a universal thing for a lot of people you can kind of say the same thing about like oh if you don't have icy or sensor or if you don't have like the Gronru and the iridin or michael which one would you pick so my problem is the four tower converter in nikki or like this fantastic detonator in hero honestly between the two i'm kind of on the nikki side as much as i love hero i think it's gonna be nikki let me know what you guys think down in the comments below but with that being said let's move on all right and so next we've got the new year's gift pack in which it costs a dollar USD for me it's like a buck 50 uh, Australian dollars but this one is pretty straightforward it is 120 lumen but we've also got a star flare these are probably going to be the best value packs if you ever get any and then we've also got this one over here which is really nice because we get an avatar frame and if you guys have not been buying out like the premium premium battle pass then you probably won't have many avatar frames I think this is quite nice especially from like a collector's point of view or like a commemorative thing and so I'll probably be picking this one up as well well I'll pick this one up at least and I'm still kind of on the fence for this one over here. Anyway, so that is the New Year's update. There's a lot of packs, a lot of outfits, a lot of celebrations and a lot more to come. And just a reminder that Dragon Maid is going to come very, very soon. So that is probably going to be the topic of my next part of the video. All right, my guys, we are back in the game right now. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the dilemma that I've been having. With the release of Sands of Time, we saw Bethlehem as well as Novio. Whoa. Man, Novio is like, wow. I think he is probably one of the most meta changing characters in the entire game right now. And Lola is cute. Lola is a pretty cool sniper. Like when I used her, she seemed like pretty decent. Like a real full blown sniper where she does like single target damage and it's massive. However, what I did notice was that her thighs are looking a little bit thick. I feel like the perspective on this one is a little bit warped. Anyway, the dilemma of Bethlehem versus Novio. So in my last video, I did mention that the Bethlehem banner. So let's just go over to her banner. The Beth banner is a limited banner or exclusive banner, whatever they want to call it. Uh, this one over here. And so if we have a look at this one, exclusive Sands of Time, we've got the Queen of the North, but then I come over here and Old Mate Novio, he is actually just going to be a, a limited character, but not exclusive. So this is my dilemma, right? So I'm still thinking this bad boy, this exclusive banner, the the pity doesn't carry over and then like the spark, the guarantee, whatever you want to call it, like essentially nothing carries over from this banner. And so what this banner is going to do is encourage people to hoard like crazy to be able to guarantee who they want. And so it's with that in mind that I don't really want to roll on this banner unless I can guarantee my Beth because like I, I know you guys have seen me lose plenty of 50-50s. At this moment, I've only got 10 of these blue star flares as well as 21k. 21k equates to about 7 70 pulls, unfortunately, that just is not enough to be able to guarantee this Queen of the North. So for me, like, I know that she is coming back in July. If I really, really want Beth, like, I've got to hold on for another six months. Or I can try my luck and pray that I potentially get her within 80 pulls, which, I don't know, man, I, I'm not feeling too lucky, let's put it that way. That's the first thing. And in terms of, like, power level, I have to say, I am actually not that impressed with Beth. I gave her a shot in the trial, and so she had preemptive strike 
strike and she is on a three round cooldown. However, that is with the uh, breakthroughs. So without breakthroughs at BT0, she is probably on four round cooldown, no preemptive. And then on top of that, her Aurora combo, it was honestly after seeing Hedy's damage, this was kind of pitiful because unfortunately a lot of her attacking power, the offensive capabilities is tied to this guy over here, her equipment. And her equipment unfortunately is also tied to Aurora time, but like it's kind of okay because you can also trigger using an active skill. And on top of that, she is also going to be juicing up the other water Aurorians, which is pretty nice. I think I think overall it's okay, but like this active skill over here, it doesn't really make me want to run it over some of the other four tile converters. Especially like Sariel when she comes out of the box two round with preemptive cooldown, like that's that's freaking sick, especially compared to this. Like, yes, this does have the flexibility of converting any four selected tiles, but at BT0, like I don't know, bet it feels a little bit undertuned. I think for Beth to be competitive, she needs to be on like a three round cooldown without preemptive on BT. That's how I would balance it, but like, what do I know? I'm just a simple gacha YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? And so that's the other thing that I was trying to allude to. So this whole concept of like, oh, you need three breakthroughs to make a character work. So the other unfortunate thing about these limited banners is that if you don't hit the BT or if you want the BTs, you have to wait like six months for it. I think there still aren't any universal stones so that's probably also going to be a problem and so that's my thoughts on the exclusive banner i'm still really iffy on it and you guys already know like if i really really want it i would have rolled by now and we probably would be in crippling depression already at me not having beth but all of these factors combined with the fact that dragon made a collaboration unit is coming up i just really don't want to roll for beth and i don't know if i ever will be able to roll for beth or any other character ever again i am a collector i need to say Save up for my freaking dragon maid collab. I need to save up for the truly, truly limited characters. And so it's for that reason that again, like this waifu is unfortunately not in my box. Now, this guy, this guy is cracked. He is he is actually meta changing. It's it's been a while since we've had somebody like him. So if you guys have not had a chance to play with Novio, go over to the Aurorian Trials and give him a shot. But essentially he is kind of like two characters where if you have not full HP, you'll be healing. And if you are at full HP, you'll be dealing damage. So it's kind of like the ultimate flexibility character. There is never going to be a time where he is redundant. A lot of the other healers right now, like Alice, Uriah, Nadine, well Nadine has like kind of a dual purpose with the conversion. But if you think about like Alice or Uriah, well Uriah gives you an enhanced heart, which is good. But then, okay, I, I guess I'm singling out Alice. This is so sad. Okay, Alice then. Like for the most part, if you're healing or overhealing, there's not much value in it. Whereas with Novio, he actually heals and does damage as well, which is insane. So that's, I believe, affected by this equipment over here. Like again, I really, really think that this is probably one of the biggest game changer Aurorians that we've seen honestly, like probably ever. However, the focus of this content right now is actually on the banners. So this bad boy is going to be on like the guaranteed pity kind of thing. So I do actually feel some kind of incentive on rolling this banner, right? If I don't get the Novio, maybe the next unit will be as either super waifu or pretty cracked as well. And then I can go try for them. And if I have to freaking cry and lose the coin flip, or is it the other way around? Then I will be guaranteed the one after that. I can't do that with Bethlehem. That's uh. I don't know. It's, it's so freaking sad. But it doesn't matter because for me, I don't think I'm ever, ever rolling again until I get all of the collaboration units. I am a crazy, crazy ass collector, so that's a bit different for me. But like, really, if you had to pick between Beth or Novio, and if you're trying to like maximize the value of your gems, I kind of feel like Novio is the way to go. And before you guys destroy me in the comments, I do want to mention that I don't think that Beth is actually trash. I think Bethlehem is like quite decent. It's just that she is not competitive. Let's put it that way. So yeah, after like thinking about this for honestly quite a long time, that kind of wraps up my thoughts around these two banners and what I'm probably going to be doing moving forward. TLDR, I am never going to roll again unless it's a collaboration unit like Dragon Maid. That's, uh, that's really sad, but it's exciting because Dragon Maid is coming soon. I really hope I have enough gems for her. But with that being said, my guys, that brings us to the end of the video. And so it's time for the secret question. First of all, I genuinely, genuinely want to know your thoughts behind uh, that selector over there, if you guys do remember. So this bad boy over here, the six star Aurorian selection box, should I get it? And if I should, should I get Hero or Nikki? 
Again, at this moment, I am skewed towards Nikki. And then the second secret question is, well, did you guys roll for Beth or did you roll for Novio? And how do you guys feel about these kinds of banners? Do you feel that I'm being a little bit unfair? Like, honestly, I think what they've done is great. Like, all of these guarantees, it is a very great compromise. It's just that with the current design, this is the way that I'm going to play and kind of like the recommendations that I can make. Whatever your thoughts are, I would really appreciate it if you would drop them down into the comments below. And it would mean a lot to me because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like if you did like this video. And if you haven't already, please consider a subscribe. But as your boy Novio once, said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye